just left to see Citizen Robespierre. Are you sure it's so urgent? Well, what is it about? I want to give him this. What is it? Evidence against a traitor. Here is the complete and detailed list of the recent executions, citizen. Who is this, Lamette? A regional deputy visiting from our southern province, citizen. And as the province in question is to be discussed, I thought the citizen could make his report personally. I see. I am always prepared to listen to a first-hand account of a region's situation. I welcome the opportunity. Thank you. <coughs> Before you question me, perhaps you would like to hear my views on Paris. When did you arrive? Just today. Hardly long enough for you to have gauged the present mood of our capital. Oh, why you wouldn't say that? I am only interested in your comments on your own territory. Recent memoranda from your province suggest that the purge of our enemies in your region is progressing very slowly. Oh, you've reached that conclusion. Mm. Well, perhaps we have fewer enemies in our region, and it may be that Paris can take an example from us. Mm. We in Paris are aware of the danger, citizen. We live in troubled times. There is much, much work to be done. Work that is constantly delayed by the need to ferret out the traitors that we harbor in is our Is there such a need, citizen Robespierre? Hmm? I mean, what can this reign of terror possibly gain for every opponent you put to the guillotine? Two more will spring up. I think you have said enough, citizen. Oh, you do, do you? I didn't speak the out. What he said is true. My enemies do multiply. He is only warning me of the dangers I face. As you wish, citizen. I could. And I shall do great things for France. For too long, the nobility have kept our people to heel. And now, finally, my world is at power. What happens? My colleagues, my trusted friends, plot for power. Do they? Or is it just their wish to keep their heads? Hmm? Danton plan to restore the monarchy. I had the proof, I knew. I had to dispose of him and the Girondin. Even now, convention members are at work plotting my downfall. But I will triumph, even if I have to execute every last one of them. Death always you think I want this carnage? 342 executions in nine days in Paris alone. What a memory I shall leave behind if this thing lasts. You must come again, citizen. We never did talk about your province. No, we didn't, did we? And I was so looking forward to it. <laughs> It's a pity we talk so long, Paris. Mm. Bring him with you tomorrow, Lamette. Yes, citizen. Thank you. 
What is it? Just drink it all up. Would you like something, Barbara? No, thank you. I think I'd like some more wine. The wine is on the table. Thank you. I think I'll return to bed, if you'll excuse me. Yes, of course. I'm sorry we disturbed you. One can't be friends with everybody. How do you feel now? I'm all right, thanks. That's right. You try and get some rest. I'll be here if you want me. I wish I knew for certain what it was. She could have caught almost anything in that jail. We've done all we can, Barbara. Yes, but is it enough? When I went upstairs, she kicked off all her clothes and was shivering with cold. I was so worried, I thought I'd better bring her down here. Well, it's probably just a chill. Yes, but what if it's worse? Well, we could call a physician, but it would be dangerous. They report almost everything to the militia these days, if only to save their own necks. Yes, well, that's a risk we'll have to take. You must know someone we could trust. Yes. Yes, I think I do. Good. That's settled, then. She's asleep. Good. I wonder what's happened to Jules. He should have been back before this. Oh, well... If you have to go, we'll be all right here. Are you sure? Yes, of course. I know you didn't intend to stay so long. I think I'd better go. I shall need time to arrange for the physician. We'll see you tomorrow. If I can't come back, I'll send a message. You'll tell Jules? Yes. And be careful, Leo. I will. We'll meet again, Barbara. And soon. You were asleep. No. Just dozing. You want to go back to bed now? You like Leon, don't you? Come on. I'll help you upstairs. Let's just have a look at him. It's a pity we had to hit him so hard. Well, the streets are filled with soldiers. He only had to call out. We'd have been arrested. If he's against us, yes. I wonder who he is. No, far from it. I'd say you created a favorable impression on Citizen Robespierre. I didn't say half the things I wanted to say. He twisted my words. Politicians usually do. Still, you are going to have another opportunity. Oh, I think not. No, 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 no. Your hospitality has been most successful and most accepted. No, I think I must bid you goodbye and leave you. That would be rather difficult, citizen. Robespierre is expecting you tomorrow. Then convey my apologies. On the you. contrary. It would be more than my neck is worth to disobey such an order. You must try and say. It's out of the question. Oh, but I insist. Jailer! Uh, uh, Matt! Arrange suitable accommodation for our citizen guests. Of course, citizen, of course. Uh, for how long? He will be staying at least until tomorrow night. Definitely no longer. He can have one of the soldiers' rooms. I'll turn them out. Oh, citizen, just one thing. There's a man waiting to see you. It's very important. I trust the room will be to your satisfaction. I'm sure it will be. Well, you wanted to see me? Yes, Citizen Lamath. I think I may have some information for you. 
If you're ready, citizen, I'll show you your room. Oh, that's all right, jailer. I don't think I shall stay after all. Eh? No, I'm sure the mate will understand. It's a pity that I ask him to put me up. Besides, those poor soldiers will need their rest. It doesn't matter about them. Nevertheless, I must be on my way. I have a long journey. So kindly give my regards to the mate. Citizen! And just what do you think you're doing, Jada? Hmm? The merchant said you were staying. I must obey him. And what do you think he'll say when he hears you delayed me? Hmm? I'm sorry, citizen, I'm sorry. But if he comes back and finds you gone, it could be even worse. Very well. I'll stay then. And I shall say nothing of this disgraceful behavior, if only for your sake. Thank you, citizen. Thank you. This way. Your story is that this white-haired old gentleman exchanged clothes and this ring, and that you also gave him writing material. And the sash, citizen. It was when he took the insignia of a regional officer of the provinces that I became, well, suspicious. Yes, so you said. Of course, I realize it may be nothing, but, but it was my duty to report it. You did well, citizen. Will you be keeping the ring and the clothes, citizen? They may be needed as evidence. Oh, Yes. Of course, you realize they were part of the exchange. I'm a poor man, citizen, and normally I'd have thrown him out of my shop. This should more than compensate. Thank you, citizen. Although I, I cannot accept a reward for what, after all, was my duty. Keep it on one condition. Anything, citizen. You will say nothing of this to anyone. You have my word. Leave this way. I don't want you seen in the prison. Thank you, citizen. Thank you. He's coming round. I'm sorry we were so long, Barbara. We had to carry him all the way. Dodging patrols all the time. How's Susan? Oh, she has a slight fever, but she's sleeping now. Leon not here? No, he had to leave. He's arranging for Susan to see a doctor. Ian! Barbara! Ian! Uh, is Susan here too? Yes, she's upstairs. But I thought you were both... Oh, uh, this is great. <laughs> Any news of the doctor? No. We don't even know if he got to Paris. Well... We did not know when we left here we were going to collect one of your friends, Barbara. Ian, uh, this is Jules. Uh, he saved our lives. Not Jules Renan, by any chance? Yes. What? I've been looking for you. We heard that somebody was. We did not know it was you. You can say that again. Mm. We're very sorry about that. Jean, this calls for a celebration. I'll get a bottle from the cellar. Come and sit over here. You'll be more comfortable. Oh. I think I'd better go and sit with Susan. Huh? She isn't feeling at all well. Oh, what's wrong with her? I don't know. We're hoping to see a doctor tomorrow. Oh. Although when she hears your back, that should be tonic enough. I know it is good news, but I think it's best not to wake her. Oh, no, I won't. She doesn't sleep for very long anyway. Look, you have a talk to Ian. Sounded like an order. Well, there is one question I would like to ask you. How did you know Barbara and Susan were here? I didn't. But I thought... When you were asking for me... That was for an entirely different reason. You know a man called Webster? No. I shared a cell with him in prison. Unfortunately, he died. He asked me to contact a man called James Sterling. Sterling. No, I'm afraid that name means nothing to me either. What? You mean to say you don't know him? No. Should I? I don't know. I somehow took it for granted that you would. Perhaps you'd better tell me the complete story. Yes. Over a glass of wine. Well, as far as I go, Webster, who was an Englishman, had come over to France to persuade Sterling to return to England. Sterling must be a spy. I'll share one drink, then I must start my journey. Thank you. Yes, you should leave before dawn. You're healthy. Well, as I told you, Webster was dying. But before he died, he begged me to get a message to James Sterling. I asked him how would I recognize him. And he told me to contact you at the sign of Le Chien Gris. I see. Well, Webster is right there. It is an inn that we frequent. I'm sorry. Please go on. No, that's all there is to say. 
Except that as I found Le Chien Gris, you found me. Mm. Did Webster know Sterling? Oh, well, I imagine so. Probably by sight. But if, as you say, Sterling is a spy, to do his job properly, he must be able to move around freely. That would mean an alias, a completely new identity. Oh, it's something that Webster didn't know. Yes, exactly. So Webster was counting on recognizing him. Well, that makes good sense. Yes, but well, why did he ask me to contact you? Men like Webster have been in touch with me before. I imagine the English are giving me as a contact to people they send over in case they need help. Oh. Well, that's not going to help me find Sterling, is it? What's the matter, eh? I'm not sure I like the idea of being used by the English. You shouldn't either, you. We're at war, and they're our enemies, and here we are helping their spies. England is at war with the people ruling France, Jean. So are we. When the tyranny ends, so will the war. I suppose the chances of finding Sterling are pretty slim. We can try. Good. Now, you have a few days to spare, is that correct? Oh, do I? Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't told you. Jean is leaving soon to search for the fourth member of your party, Susan's grandfather. You know where he is? No, but he will start at the house where you were arrested and follow the trail from there, won't you, Jean? Yes, I will find him. And while we wait, we shall also search for Sterling. Providing you have no objections, you will ask start by joining us. No objections? You'll hear from me within three days. Take care, Jean. Ian? Yeah. Good luck and thanks. If anyone can find him, Jean can. Now, to our problem. I wonder who can help us. Of course, there is one man, Leo. Friend of yours? <laughs> We've shared many escapades. He moves in a very wide circle and knows a great many people. Perhaps he is James Sterling. I'd like to meet him. Can you arrange it? Very easily. He's coming here tomorrow, bringing a physician for Susan. Good. This calls for another drink. Oh, Barbara. Just in time. Susan? Yes, sir. I'm afraid she's getting worse. I hope you slept well. I did not. The bed was hard, and the draught blew through the room like the north wind. I'm sorry. Yes, I dare say you are. But if I catch rheumatism, the polities won't cure it. Will it? Hmm? Better feed the pigs. Most appropriate. Come, we'll have breakfast. And your time may not be wasted, citizen. I've got a feeling that it will be quite an eventful day. <laughs> Physician won't come here. Thank you. Doctor, we must do something for Susan. Well, if Daniel says the physician won't come here, Susan must be taken to him, that's all. I'll arrange for a carriage to take them. Let me go with Susan. No, I think it'll look less, less suspicious. Two women were to go. Yes, the physician is reasonably near. No, yes, Barbara like can it. take her. I've just found them. I don't want to lose them again. That's quite understandable. But there's no reason for you to fear for your safety. Besides, there's your meeting with Leon. Yes, but you haven't arranged it yet. I can. Ian, it'll all be over by today. You'll be able to leave together. It'll be quicker this way. <sighs> well, I don't like it this way, but... Good. I'll go and fetch Barbara and Susan. Let's hope we can trust the physician. Yes, you appear to have a feverish chill, but it's nothing very serious. Well, that's a relief. All the same, I'm surprised at your condition. Tell me, have you, uh, have you any idea how you came to catch it? No. None. Hmm. Your symptoms would suggest that you haven't been looking after yourself. Well, I've done nothing unusual. Yes. Has she been eating properly? Oh, she has an enormous appetite. Look, Doctor, if you could, well, give her something. 
We appreciate your time's valuable. We've no wish to delay quite you. Quite so, quite so. There's another thing, your, uh, your hands, they're very blistered, well, aren't they? Uh, Doctor, can you help her? Yes, I'll treat her. It's a simple matter of bloodletting. Unfortunately, I shall have to go out and collect some leeches. You called rather early. I was on my way to collect them first thing this morning, but you're welcome to wait. Yeah, well, maybe it would be better if we came back. Come back. No, no, no. I shall be out all day. You'll have to wait, but please make yourself comfortable. Barbara, I don't like him. I can't stand the thought of having leeches on me. No. I got the impression that he suspected us. Come on. Let's go. It's locked. Let me out of Paris if you don't hurry up. If I'm wrong, there'll be no uh, repercussions, will there, citizen? Don't worry. From what you've told me, it's escape prisoners all right. The soldiers will go with you. All you've got to do is to point them out. Yes, yes, I'd better hurry back. <clears throat> go with the position. Right turn. Quick march. Oh, this door's stronger than it looks. It's been gone ages. He'll be back soon. Someone coming. There they are. Barbara and Susan aren't back yet. They'll be all right. It is not unusual to be kept waiting at the position. Well, I've got a feeling something's gone wrong. Now, don't worry. I've arranged your meeting with Leon. Oh, he can wait. If it'll make you any happier, I'll go and fetch Barbara and Susan. Now, if you want to see Leon, well, you must hurry. He moves around a great deal. It may be your only chance. But you'll leave immediately. Yes, of course I will. Leon is at a disused church. You are to go alone. I've explained some of the story. Ah, so he's not James Sterling. No. Mm. I'll draw a map for you. It will help you find the way. <laughs> So, you thought you'd escaped. Well, we're not as big a fools as you take us for. That's the matter. Two recaptured prisoners. Barbara, what do you think they're talking about? I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. I'll see that your orders are carried out, citizen. Take the girl to the cell. No! Barbara! Not you. You're wanted for questioning. Citizen Lamert thought you might like to question this prisoner. What's that? Doctor. My dear Bob. Ian. That's right. Are you alone? Yes. Jules said you might be able to help. Soldiers. Yes, I know. You walked right into my trap, didn't you, Ian?